Hi, I'm Ninja, Penguins. otherwise known as Steven, and welcome to GNN. We have a news update for you. Several things have happened in the past few months where we haven't done mini sodas. Well, here's a mini soda, and we're going to be talking about the news. First thing, we're going to our gamer expert. It's on you, Chris. All right, so um, five steel wool. All right, if you if you heard of those epic gamers, um, they made FNAF VR. So let's just start off with FNAF VR. All right, so FNAF VR is all about uh William Afton, which is the furry uh, dude, the man the monster. Ah, shoot! I was gonna say that. He came, he, he came back to life um through a VR game. Because they found old memory or something, I don't know. And basically, um, he controlled this reluctant follower, Vanny. Um, so this is what happens. So that happens, right? And then you go to, um, and basically there's the bunny mask. And in a FNAF 9 teaser, you could see the bunny, the same bunny mask. But let's just quickly go on. So in the FNAF AR emails, this guy named Lewis is basically saying, Hey, Ness. Uh, stop looking up creepy fucking, uh, how to slaughter 50 children. And he tries to make it for, Wiki how um, tutorials. The screenplay. Yeah, like, screenplay. Vanny's screenplay. And he really wants to get coffee with her, because he's a simp. So, um, yeah, that happens. And you see, Ness, Vanny, Vanessa. So, Vanessa. And... Yeah, that's basically it. So then, let's go. So, Scott has been teasing this game, which is in uh, Freddy's Mall, which that's what I'm going to call it. That's not the real name. And His mall. This, and before that, Freddy in Space's first teaser with Freddy's beautiful big bulge uh, had this weird wolf character, which it's foxy. I'll explain. Oh, fucking hell. So, uh, he posted this a teaser, which let's just focus on these four characters. So, the only characters we got from this teaser is Glamrock Freddy, right? Uh -huh. And uh, Mon uh, Glamrock Monty, aka Montgomery Gator. And the reason we know Montgomery Gator is because fucking uh, Funko are being fucking dumbasses and they decided to reveal the names because they're stupid poopy heads <laughs> so we got glamrock chica i mean this isn't glamrock the first time fanko's messed uh fanko funko has messed up like this yeah mm, yes uh roxanne wolf and monty G gamory gator and monty and freddy got their own teasers so Scott, basically, uh, people thought that the game was Pizzaplex, because you see FNAF Pizzaplex. But Scott, and also, you see this calendar with Monty, Freddy, and, um, and, you know, Roxanne, Wolf. I'm just gonna call her Roxy. In, like, <laughs> concept art, it's just concept art, you can see the image there. But it's not 100% accurate, but it's concept art anyways, and Scott basically said they're poopy heads, and it was just low residue, saturated, uh, compressed, you know, all that stuff. Wait. And Pizzaplex isn't the name. So basically, we're getting FNAF 58. Let's go, boys. <laughs> the bite of 58? Doesn't work. Yes, okay. Was that oh, the bite that... of 58? Ah, <laughs> oh, okay, that works, that works. Just... Somebody just, like, edits that Markiplier clip. <laughs> okay, what do you gamers think? Okay, uh, I... As stated in the FNAF episode we did, I I don't know the FNAF lore at all. Way, way to plug oh, that. Yeah. Except for FNAF 3, apparently, with Gerald. <laughs> Gerald's my boy! <laughs> I thought Cyril was your boy. You can't have both. No. No, we well, can't, okay, we can't Cyril's my man's, Gerald's my boy. Okay, okay, that escalated have, quickly. Uh, okay, yeah. let's have a character that's gonna pop up. He's gonna be the man behind the slaughter. Um, okay. I've actually got well, a great apologize. idea, man. and I'll have to pitch it to you guys after this. I think it's okay, okay, well, guys, do we have guys, to apologize to L for making another art, 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 art asset? Art, art, yes, art. Okay. He's, he's gonna, <laughs> Sorry. He's that's how L hears us. Be, <laughs> let's call the character Manny. 
because it's the man behind Slaughter, <laughs> Manny. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of any original names. <laughs> It'll just, just be Manny like Hefley. a night guard with uh, Manny from Ice Age's head just photoshopped <laughs> onto it. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking Manny from the Diary of Kid books. Then he can be the man if behind the slaughter. Yes! <laughs> yeah. Yes! Okay, so I, I And then his whole it. purpose okay. is to kill Ice Age Baby because for some reason everybody hates him. Yes. Fuck yes! Him. Well, anyways, uh, uh, Davey and our, uh, gamer, um, Paradox Kun, what do you think of, uh, the game? I think it's interesting. I think there's definitely yes. not enough to really Continue. go off of to know, like, what exactly the game is going to be. Like, we kind of have a general idea of the location, which is different than anything we've really seen in any uh, FNAF game before. The new animatronics are interesting. I'm surprised they didn't really do a gator before. Yeah. It's, it, it, yeah. It's really weird to me. Bonnie and Foxy is in the game, which is, which is sad, but... Actually, wait, didn't they have, like, a gator mask in, um, shoot, uh, Happiest Day? Yeah. Or was that supposed to be the frog? Yeah, it was probably supposed to be Happy Frog. Because I thought it looked like a gator, but, but I might be thinking anyways, of the wrong thing. Um, I think that this game is going to be very interesting in how they handle it, because I think that with the more place, I think it's going to be weird, because how the cameras work, because the stage is in the outside area, but I think still we'll, we'll, we'll be able to make assets of like the sky and, you know, that sort of thing. And I think it's going to be interesting because how they're going to make the game and like, where's the office going to be? Is it going to be like in a little place in the mall? Like something like that. It seems really cool. And I'd like want to see how a high budget FNAF game would look like other than VR, but like yeah. non-VR. Though yeah. you mentioned about it looking like it being outside from all the times I've seen the artwork, it seems more like they're in, like, the center of the mall with, like, a huge skylight, but that's just me. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant, and I think that would be cool. Okay, that, I, um, that's a little yeah. bit different from the outside, but I get it. Wait. Yeah, yeah, wait, that's wait. what I meant, like, the sky. It's like, like, what if they have, like, um, uh... Outside, oh no, that would be stupid. Y I don't you want can, goes. <laughs> you can see a blue sky? This ruins my fan theory that Five Nights at Freddy takes place in hell. What? Mm. I mean, this ruins my fan theory. That's actually, that's actually been confirmed, hasn't it? The mm. ultimate custom yeah. night is basically your William Afton, like, constantly. Oh no, that's not confirmed. There's, there's two theories. It's either it's William Afton, but some people believe that it's Michael's Purgatory. Um, which I, I kind of like, but I just don't think um, UCN is canon. Just UCN doesn't fit anymore. Like it's not fun to theorize, and it's it's stupid, you know. So, so what I'm being told is, I don't have enough knowledge of the FNAF lore to make a good joke out of it. <laughs> no, you can make a joke. <laughs> Probably a pretty good you joke. Make... It's just it might be like <laughs> canonically incorrect. <laughs> yes, you can, you can um, make a, you can make an. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Wait, wait, one more thing. You can okay. take the woman behind the slaughter. <laughs> well, thanks a lot, Chris. Now we are going to go to a commercial break, but be right back because we're going to talk about an amazing animated sequel that's been announced. Commercial break. We're back, and today, what are you going to talk about, Ninja? Well, yeah. I mean, it's the I same day. <laughs> yep. <laughs> He well, just, like, come back to this a week later, like, oh yeah, we forgot this. <laughs> yeah. I, well, as stated before, and as I've tried to say before, some people cut me off. How rude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah how rude. We, there's been an animated sequel that has been announced that has been long awaited, especially by those in the GCAT sphere. Sadly, it's not Megamind. Hashtag justice for Megamind. 
Yeah. It's Space Jam 2! A new legacy! Yes! Mega Mind, more like, um, Poopy Mind. <laughs> <laughs> You're fired. That was not only in poor taste, but with poor timing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Space Jam 2 was announced. And as someone who's only seen Space Jam on a VHS tape, I am excited. So th this is kind of going to be the reverse of you in the last segment where I don't know anything about Space Jam. Okay. Well, Space Jam, a new legacy has been announced. It stars LeBron James in the place of what Michael Jordan did. And if you don't know the plot of Space Jam, basically Looney Tunes play basketball with famous person, and oh my god, it doesn't work, but it works so well. It, that doesn't it's make so sense, but god. the movie doesn't. It, it's it's beautiful. It's it's like art. <laughs> yeah. Speaking no, no, no. of art, L make art assets of Michael Jordan fighting Bugs Bunny in basketball. Okay, <laughs> I just found like I just found a post from uh, LeBron James's Instagram, uh, which is probably the one where he announced it, and he's wearing a hat yeah. with a logo on it, and it does not yep. look good. So either it's a prototype, or they are not doing very well with the merchandising. Uh, it's probably yeah. a prototype, but that's the only piece of information we have. Legitimately, it's only the title, and LeBron James is in it. But by golly, am I excited! LeBron James more like a uh, poopy James. <laughs> <laughs> oh you God, I'm so I glad no you're not. I'm so him. glad you're not making Kobe Bryant jokes. That would be in such a poor taste. Okay. <laughs> well, later, <laughs> bring it up. Well, yeah. okay, it, it was the elephant in the room. Okay, I acknowledged it. Now it can't hurt me. Well, um... So, yeah, Space Jam 2 I, I really... it, it's there. We know nothing about it. We know it's gonna release at some point in time. Maybe it'll get cancelled. But the internet has already latched on to it. So if it does, we'll find out. Yeah. Well, we will find out. Kind of, this is kind of out of, co like, out of the discussion, but what, I hate how they cancelled the Looney Tunes show. I miss that shit. Like, I, I barely watched the Looney Tunes, and then I watched that show, and it was, like, fucking sick. But, like, you know, bring that back. Bring that back. Or I will yeah. Back. I do think the timing's actually quite interesting. Because, like, a week before they actually announced Space Jam 2, A New Legacy, um, they announced that there was a new Looney Tunes show on that was coming to HBO, I believe. And, like, all the Looney Tunes sh shorts are on HBO Max, are gonna be on HBO Max, like, this summer. So it's like, it's like, man, I wonder if this whole thing was kind of like strategically placed. That way people are into Looney Tunes by the time the movie comes out. So Yes. Uh, also, another thing I know about Space Jam is oh, that shoot. people like want to jack off to I don't know if to, this like, will make it into the recording, but it's really loud. The smoke alarm is yeah, going I off at my house. Oh my god, yes. Paradox. This is because just Space sucks. Jam is so fire. Is it because Space Jam's so fire and your copy's just, like, glowing because it knows we're finally talking about it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, <laughs> as I was saying, the one thing that I know people, like, talk about Space Jam is how they want to, like, jack off to Lola Bunny. Is that yes, true, Yes, they Ninja? do. Yes, um, um, Space Jam is one of two movies that are credited to starting furries. The other one being the Disney Robin Hood movie. Mm. Ooh. Um, yes. Yeah, this conversation kind of went a bit dark. Uh, I'm sorry for I, one of my favorite dark movies. Dark is the word I would horny. use to describe it. Yeah, I'll, I'll say the word is horny and stupid. I would and say risque, ugly. but sure. And and uh, we're gonna get murdered by YouTube because Chris, of YouTube po poopy head. Mm. Stop being horny on your main account. Well, that's pretty much all the news for um for Space Jam too. A new legacy. Nothing has come about it. Uh, so, the uh, commercial break again, if we want to. Paradox, do you have an idea of what you want to talk about? Or No. I'm ending the broadcast. Oh, wait! No, I did have something. Shoot, I forgot. Okay. Ah. So, all right, we're back from commercial uh, break, because I've got something. Breaking news, Paradox remembered. Yes, and breaking news, Paradox... Yes, amazing. Uh, is, so, this may, not, this may not be completely new news, 
But I uh, came across an article titled Robert Jun uh, la la. Robert Downey Jr. teases his return to the MCU, but Avengers Endgame director says it needs to be earned. So back uh, when the anniversary for Endgame's premiere in theaters happened, uh, the Russo brothers did a watch party live of Endgame, and Robert Downey Jr. Uh, appeared on it. Wow. And he... Alright, guys, I have to end about... the broadcast. I'll... Chris died. Yes, I'm gonna die. See you later. Stay He's dead. It, gamer. Anyways, so... <laughs> um... While... Uh... Rel... While Robert Downey Jr. was on the live feed or whatever, um, uh, came up about him uh, maybe coming back, aside from just in uh, the Black Widow movie. But one of the Russo brothers, I can't remember which, one of the Russo brothers, I'm trying to find which one. Okay, so both, both Russo brothers, I guess, uh, made it clear that uh, Downey could return as Iron Man, but they would have to have a good reason uh, for him to be resurrected, that they would have to earn it. And that's the other <laughs> podcast! Thank you for tuning in to GNN on the Gamesphere Cast channel. Be sure to check Remember. out our other content. Check us out on Twitter at GCastOfickle. Check out uh, Chris at FreezyBoy4. Check out Ninja X Ninja Five Five Five. Check me out Paradox MM underscore. Also, I recently released my second album, Look the Sky. Check it out; it's awesome. That all being said, always remember. I like how you guys get to plug all your stuff, but I don't get to plug my YouTube channel.